All right, so we've come a long way from a solid block of foam. Right now, we're looking at a tiger shark. It has a little bit of sheetrock mud on it to fill some recesses from the hard coating, but basically, I'm to the point now where I have one more little task before I prime and paint. And that little task is figuring out where to put the eyelets and how to position the shark so that when I hang it, it'll have the look that I'm going for. So I need to actually weld together some all thread rod that I bought and some couplings uh, to an eyelet. So that'll actually let me position it and the shark will stay at an angle that I want. All right, so I was pretty darn nervous when I first got this thing hanging to see where the pendulum point would be. And uh, cause when I had the eyelets hooked up, there was like, oh man, it's pretty steep, but it was at eye level. So I went ahead and hoisted it up. Right now, the top of the fin is at about eight foot, four inches. So I'm, I'm gonna go another maybe foot higher. So it's actually gonna look amazing from a, a seventh to eighth grade kid level. All right, so let's pretend you're walking into your seventh and eighth grade science classroom and you're like, oh, I like, the science is okay. And then all of a sudden, poof. Yes. I love science. As you can see, got a big old chasm where I inserted that steel bar and rod that goes up and through. So now I'm gonna take this really disgusting looking thing of foam spray. I'm gonna kind of backfill everything. And from the top, I'm gonna put some Gorilla Glue and it's gonna kind of drip its way down as it dries and expand into the, uh, the hole to keep everything nice and firm. Then I'll go over this with some Bondo and we should be in good shape. All right, this has been a long time coming. It is time to start primer. I have cleaned the entire shark. I have put some blue painter's tape on each eyeball. And now I'm gonna try the old Harbor Freight gun to spray a base coat on this thing of latex. The primer's right here. It's a kills primer and apparently it doesn't eat foam. So hopefully it won't eat it. Pretty sure I got some paint on my face. That was a little sloppy, and now I'm gonna go over it with a little tiny foam roller just to even things out, but it, it went on thick, it went on nice. Prime Tiger Shark, ready for paint. All right, I have applied two coats of primer. I have some spots that maybe need a little bit more love, but honestly, I'm painting this sucker. Right now, mix up a little bit of silver gray and do the top, uh, get a base coat or two down. I'm just gonna start throwing some paint. So I'm gonna get it top coat, boom, a lot of gray, a lot of silver, uh, and use some reference images to really nail this. And then very solid white belly to this thing. That's an easy thing to, to accomplish. Uh, very defined white line along the belly. And then it's onto the cool striping, which I have some cool colors for that. Local arts and craft store strikes again. Uh, we have a standard silver, um, it's actually just more of a generic medium gray. It's not quite as crazy silver as that. So I'm gonna start with that, see what it looks like. Then uh, I'll mix up the black and the white to see if that can maybe change the effect a little bit. But right now, boom, nice little craft silver. So I have silver as my base, nice medium color. I'm gonna go back with 
Just a mix of white and black. Still shaking, but I think we got it close. To make a nice, even medium gray, I'm gonna do the same texturing that I just did with that to add to that base. So I'll leave some of the, the highlights popping with the silver, but come back with some nice standard uh, gray to even things out. There's a bee in the house. I'll be right back. The bee is gone from the house. I won't say how it ended, but it wasn't good for the bee. Anyways, uh, more color. Here go some stripes. Little brush. So it's wild to think that I am at this point in this build. I have applied stripes to the entire thing. So I've been going off my reference images, got it pretty close. I drew them on here, got close to my lines with the, uh, the little foam brush thing. And now I'm in the home stretch. So next, this is actually just layer number one of the stripes. So what's going to happen next? is a couple layers of overspray, just gray, different tones of gray. So what you see here is, you know, on a real tiger shark, it actually fades into the body uh, down toward the center section. So there's gonna be layers of gray on top of here that just kind of build up. So it, it actually blends nicely. So they're more solid toward the top, but it blends in. I'm also going to go with a darker gray on the top section to kind of highlight the back because if you look at a shark, the way the body is rolled over the top, it lends, even though it might be all the same uniform color, it actually looks darker and then it'll blend in everything. Then after all of that's done, I'm going to go back with the airbrush and a shadowy black brown mixture. I'll highlight the stripes again to make a pop and define edges then. That's the theory. Um, that's, that's my working theory here. And then it's a matter of airbrushing things like this line. You can see here, it looks pretty defined from where you're at maybe, but I gotta go in very carefully with the airbrush and just really make that white line on a tiger shark is just crisp. There's a tiger shark. It's in the Sprinter. I'm here with Michael Deerlin. That's right. That's right. Deerlin Productions. Uh, epic drone shots by this man here. Uh, super certified, amazing drone photographer. And awesome dude is gonna help me move a giant tiger shark in his awesome van. So let's go hang this sucker up. <laughs> There's Lee. Uh, and this is his classroom and it's going to be in the back of his classroom. So he'll get to look at the shark all day. I'll see it all day. My students, I'll have to keep asking them to turn back around and face the front. Hey, there's nothing like adding distractions to your classroom. <laughs> so it is the big day for install here. We are at the middle school science class. My good buddy Lee and uh, he is about to receive an 11 foot tiger shark. Right now we're securing in some carabiners and some heavy gauge wire to actually run this guy. It only weighs 45 pounds, but you can never be too safe, so. 
Any final words? Don't let the kids swing from it. Please. I won't let the kids swing from it. <laughs> yes, too cool. <laughs> seeing it for months in my shop and seeing it here. <sighs> you want to see the shark? Did daddy make that? So yeah, he'll sit up here and know, teach and like... that's his uh, background. It's pretty wild. I love it. Mike, thanks for the uh, thanks for the help, Deerland Productions. <laughs> Lee. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey. It's awesome, buddy. It's so it's beautiful. It's and who are you? Oh, I'm Jameson. I like to build stuff. And uh, at Proton Madman, that's my, my handle on Instagram. You can follow along with random projects like this. And there's more to come. So stay tuned.